Davis Arena. I am the East End villain, Josh Ashcraft, alongside the lovely Linda Kay. And we want to welcome each and every one of you to OVW Rise. Linda, what a night we have planned. What a hot crowd here at Davis Arena tonight. We've got to make sure to come to the action. But we've got some breaking news, boys and girls. Breaking news? Well, this is news to me. What are you talking about? What's going on? Cash versus Zomar, Mahabali Shira taking his place. What is due to an attack that happened in the parking lot last Wait, night? What? Well, yeah, what's what's going on? Let's hey, can, can somebody give me the have. security footage from that? Yeah, let's take a look at this. Those men in black, it's just jumpy cash, but cash teaches class here on Wednesday nights. It looks like they pulled up and just jumped about back. I don't know who these guys are, but I'm gonna tell you right now, they keep coming through the doors. They keep coming from under the ring. Frankly, I'm sick of it. The fans are sick of it. We've got to do something about this. Mahabali Shira is going to be taking cash flow's place here tonight against Omar Amir, but uh. this is news to me. This is gonna be brutal no matter what, pun totally intended. But you know what? We'll get that figured out later on. Let's, let's get Josh. rolling with OVW Rise. Eric, my man, tell them who's fighting. I got you, Josh. The opening contest of OVW Rise is a non-title bout set for one fall. Introducing first from Cedarburg, Wisconsin. Here's the country boy brewing. OVW media champion, Cal. Well, Josh, if anyone's going to bring some light to what we just saw, it's got to be Cal Hero. Yeah, without a doubt, Cal Hero. Absolutely loved and adored by this uh, Davis Arena crowd, the OBW faithful here. And you're right. Let's let's switch gears from from that heinous attack that we just saw on Cash. And folks, as, as soon as we can, we'll try to get you some information on uh, the status of Cash Flow. But you know, let's get rolling with Rise. Hey, here's the from Elizabeth Town, Kentucky. Ice Man, Justice Davis. Justice Davis, man with ice in his veins, out here for uh, for the opening match on OVW Rise here tonight. You know, you got to think that a great showing and possibly even a victory over the OVW media champion, Cal Hero, would do wonders for this kid's career. Yes, Justice Davis having a lot to prove to us, to the crowd here, and to those watching at home, just well, what he can do at know, OVW. You know, and that's the thing, Justice Davis, the Iceman, he's been uh, cutting his teeth, so to speak. Mm. Oh, look at that. Ducks through real quick. You know, and, and Justice Davis, he's he's been making a name for himself, you know, cutting his teeth on, on these OVW live events, and. He's been really showing a lot of promise in the higher ups here tonight. We decided to put him in there, in there against Cal Hero, a man who will be facing Carson Drake on May 2nd. Absolutely. The Iceman getting his shot against Cal Hero tonight. And Cal Hero possibly just 
thinking ahead at May 2nd, as you said, as he faces Carson Drake for that, or defending his media title, excuse me. Yeah, the OVW media title, you know, we're, that's going to be happening May 2nd. OVW Double Cross live from Waterfront Park. That premium event that we are going to have, it is going to be stacked and jacked, Linda. Absolutely. That huge event celebrating not just the 150th anniversary of the Kentucky Derby Festival, but 30 years of OVW. Man. Yeah, I mean, what a celebration. And we're so happy to be a part of it. We love being a part of the Kentucky Derby Festival every year. And Cal Hero is just manhandling Iceman Justice Davis in there. Oh, oh. Davis smartly gets yeah. to the ropes, forcing the break here. Oh, but no clean break. My pal, Cal Hero, not taking Justice Davis too lightly. Again, he does have his title match coming up at Double Crossed, but he will never give up, showing us his fight, his spirit. Oh, what a drop kick out of Justice Davis, and you're right. Cal Hero showing us that never say die attitude. The things the Davis Arena fans love about our OVW Country Boy Brewing media champion. And Justice Davis may be taking a little bit too much time there to tell oh, the rest of the OVW faithful here that you know he doesn't get scared for anything. He's got ice in his veins and that momentary lapse of judgment leading to Cal Hero getting some momentum going. And now looking to flip, flop, and fly, Daddy. Oh. Oh. A little shout out to Scotty Too Hotty there. And Cal Hero, he knows what it's like to be in high pressure situations. Justice Davis, you know, this is new territory for him. Live worldwide, ladies and gentlemen. We thank you so much for joining us on YouTube, Facebook, Fight, Triller, you oh. name it. We're on it as Cal Hero just takes the head off of Justice Davis. Cal Hero on fire. Dare I say we've got fire and ice in the ring tonight. You know what? You can, but Cal. Loading up that fanny oh, pack oh, wow. knee. And that's it. Here is your winner, Cal Hero. Cal Hero picks up the victory in the first match of OVW Rise here tonight.
the toughest moment of the night. Hold on, it's being an iceberg. Bring your hands on Hema. The desperation in his eyes is understandable. How are you going to separate this? I know. Oh, 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 oh. Got another bad girl down. I know. Bad girl's clever, treating me. Guys, think were their mind game successful? Haley and Frey on the same page, but for how long? The toughest moment of the night, brought to you by Hot Point, America's hardest working appliances. The following contest is set for one fall. Introducing first, representing the fallen, the Detroit Devil, Z D P. Every time D D P comes out, I have to climb behind you, Josh. Yeah, that wild so child of the fallen. DDP out here representing the fallen, you know, ZDP. He's, he's just so creepy. I don't understand what it is. How is he allowed to be out in public without somebody controlling him? And his opponent from Louisville, Kentucky, the IA Demon, Shane Mercer. Shane Mercer, the human yeet machine himself. Hey. The Iron Demon set for competition. You know, and I don't know if, uh, I don't know if either Mercer or ZDP really understand what the other is getting into right now. <laughs> I mean, Mercer understands that ZDP, uh, he might be a little bit feral, but you gotta wonder, is ZDP even able to comprehend how much danger he is in standing in the ring across from Shane Mercer? I don't know if the mind games can even affect Shane Mercer. I mean, just look at his face right there. This is not affecting him at all. I think he's, he's anxious. He's wanting to get his hands there on ZDP. The Iron Demon, look at this, oh. just pops oh. him up. Fall away, slam Mercer. Looking like he just crawled out of the sulfur from the depths of hell. ZDP a little bit unhinged, but you know, I, I tell you what, ooh, oh, another cross face shot there for Mercer. You gotta wonder, all those shots to the head. Yeah, and I mean, it's been week after week after week of shots straight to ZDP's head. I mean, even our own Dr. Asa, our ringside physician is concerned. Oh, look at that, flinging ZDP. Shane Mercer, that released T-bone suplex. Once again, Mercer just looking like he walked out of the atomic wastelands, like he's just coming straight from, uh, from the Commonwealth there. And speaking of the Commonwealth, this coming Saturday, OVW is gonna be returning live to the London Optimist Club in London, Kentucky. That's 383 Sinking Creek Road in London. Go to OVW Ticks. Oh! That is OVWTIX.com to see our return. You know, Linda, 13 years ago, that's where I got my start with OVW, very first show, mm. and here we are again. Comes full circle, doesn't it? That it does, almost like the full circle beating that ZDP is getting right now from Shane Mercer. Look at that strength from Shane Mercer. Incredible strength. Look at that takedown. Oh, man. Almost just like super mutant-like strength out of Shane Mercer. And you've got to wonder if that, that weird connection with the dark that the Fallen seem to have. Mm. Almost, almost something supernatural. Yeah, you've got to wonder if that'll come into play to, to possibly counteract Mercer, but the Iron Demon right now in full control. And Again. look at him just pressing that man. Giving us that display of strength. That undead weight of ah. ZDP now just dropping down onto the back of Shane Mercer, locking in that sleeper hold, trying to take all of the oxygen out of the body. Shane Mercer down to one knee. Something's working there for ZDP. That it is. I mean, I don't care. You take the oxygen out of somebody. It's going to stop him. Oh. But Mercer, that ring awareness, able to shrug ZDP off by driving him backwards into that corner. Oh, Ooh, nobody home. He went for that running European uppercut. 
And look at ZDP now. Like a little honey badger in there. He was going for the bite. As that he was. Would do, but, oh, there oh, it is. Son, there oh, it is. That, you know, ZDP showing why he's one half of the bite club of the Fallen. That's ZDP. Our, that scream. Oh! oh. The head into the post, though, and ZDP just in hanging limp at that corner, and Mercer pulls him through. The well, ZDP, eyes of yeah. ZDP, ZDP's eyes are glossed over. He hit that post pretty hard, and Mercer now going up to the second rope. You know what it is, Linda. The it's Davis Arena knows. Time. Oh, are we going to Move! Oh, and battery! That's all she wrote. Your winner, Shane Mercer. The Iron Demon, Shane Mercer, with a victory here over ZDP. You gotta wonder what, what championships do Mercer, does Mercer have? his sight set on because if he keeps up with emphatic victories like that, there's no way OVW management can overlook it. Absolutely, Josh. Let's see, wait a second. One thing, yeah, one thing I'm seeing though here. Oh, yeah, oh. no, Dr. Dr. Asa in the ring. See OVW officials, they, they were looking around the corner, checking on it once they saw Asa get in. And we mentioned it earlier, ZDP's eyes just glossy. Yeah, just, just, just completely oh. glazed over. I mentioned Once earlier again. that Dr. Asa already had some concern on the recent head strikes on ZDP, and it happened again tonight. You gotta wonder what's this, what's gonna be going on with ZDP, man? Plus, the Derby festivities continue on Thursday, May 2nd, back down on the waterfront for a special live TV broadcast of OVW Rise. We'll see you downtown on the waterfront for that one. And Friday, May 31st, OVW heads north to Des Plaines, Illinois for the first time ever, the Des Plaines Theater, bell time at 8 p.m. It's the first ever OVW National Tour presented by Danos. Get your tickets today and experience OVW Live. If you've ever dreamed of being part of professional wrestling or sports entertainment, make that dream a reality and attend the world-famous Harvard of Pro Wrestling, the OVW Academy with Al Snow, the birthplace of legends including Batista, John Cena, Randy Orton, The Miz, and many more. Will you be the next name added to that impressive list? Visit OVWAcademy.com and apply now. When pain or an injury is keeping you from the game of life, we want to help you get back to your golf game, your yoga game, to the backyard games, the home games, back to the fun and games. Pro Rehab Physical Therapy, official physical therapy provider of Bellarmine Athletics and the trusted choice for keeping you in the game. Introducing first the team of Emma, Tiffany Nieves, 
and Dream Girl LA, the Bad Girls Club. Missing is the OW Women's Champion, Layla Gray. We have been seeing Ellie and Tiffany a little closer, growing a little closer despite all that tension we've been seeing from the back of those club but in the ring and in the locker room. I mean, you know, and sometimes that, that'll happen. You'll have that. You know, you get a large enough group of people together, there are going to be some personality clashes. We're talking about a clash. Opponents first from Fairbanks, Alaska, the Queen of the North, Freya the Slayer. Freya the Slayer making her way out here, awaiting her tag team partners to take on the Bad Girls Club. You know, Linda, May 2nd, OVW Double Cross, we've got a huge four-corner tag team match. Which includes who we see right and now. And her partners, Lady Bird, Sophia Rose, the All-American Sweethearts. Here you see the All-American Sweetheart, Sophia Rose. Coming out here with Lady Bird, and we were talking about that, you know, four-corner tag team match. We're gonna see the All-American Sweethearts taking on the Bad Girls Club, represented by who? It's gonna be Ellie and Tiffany. We're gonna have Layla with Hema, and then Freya and Haley as well. Yeah, you Double know what? You know what? OBW Double Cross is setting up to be one of our biggest shows so far this year. It, oh. Wait a minute. Oh, speaking speak of the devil. Of Haley. There she is. Oh. We have a special guest. Oh. Josh. Well, would you look at that? The Bougetto is fatty of OVW. The is the, keep staring, honey. Take a picture. It lasts longer. Hollywood Haley J joining Ooh. us over here at hey, commentary. Hey, I love this blue. And you know, it's something that I was talking oh, about. Oh, yeah, you're done. Looks like the crowd wants me to join in. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's that's pretty much how it goes when you come out here. You know how it goes. Yeah, I know. I'm the best. It's okay. But you know, you, you see the argument right now between Hema and Tiffany Nieves. And like I was saying earlier, uh, to, to your point, Linda, you know, you get a little bit of tension when you get enough people together. They can't together. be loyal to anyone. They no. can't be loyal to anyone. No, and that's the thing, oh. you know, you will have that's a- That's what you get, get her Freya, yeah. That's why I'm wearing blue. <laughs> blue is for Freya tonight. Is it blue for Freya Absolutely tonight? Absolutely it is. Ooh. It's you know, there cool. seemed like there was a little bit of tension between you and Freya after that fatal four way. It was a misunderstanding, not a, not a you know. Hey, you know what, She's that happens. Rock, upset, but it's fine, it's, it's listen. My aim is off sometimes. It was nothing, you know. <laughs> you know, look, I'm mad about it. It happens. Yeah. I get it. But you two are going to have to work together on, on May 2nd down at Waterfront Park for OVW Double Cross. And, you know, taking on two separate contingents of the Bad Girls Club on the other side of the ring. There we go for you. And listen, the All-American Sweetheart. She's the one mad at me. I Listen, I don't hold grudges, okay? She started it. I mean, fair point. Hema getting crushed in the corner oh, by Freya, and it looked like Tiffany and Ellie don't really They're seem to care. They're not even helping her partner. <laughs> right. I What's mean, wrong with these broke girls? Y'all even, they don't even know, look. The broke girls oh, club, is that what it is? Oh, that's what I Broke girls them. club? Yeah, they broke. That's why Layla had to shoot out the fake honey. Ah, uh, okay. She's broke. La oh. Princesa, though, charges through Linda. Yes, I mean, I mentioned it earlier, the tension between the bad girls club, I mean, when Hema was down in the oh. other corner and down on the ground. That's, that's why you had I had Tiffany not even Freya. showing concern. And that is exactly why. Yeah, you don't want her to do that to you, right? I don't, you know. Oh, cover. on the same team. She's so quick to help Tiffany, but she did right. not care about Hema like that. Let me just throw that out there. Well, you know, and like I said, you get enough strong personalities together, there are going to be a little bit of tension. Oh. There's going to be, oh! She's getting but, right in the face of Hema. 
seems like Ellie and Tiffany's bond has whoa, you know what? Got a lot stronger. Let me just tell else. you what I admire about the women's division here at OVW. Every single woman here really believes in their heart and soul that they are the best, the best, and. Well, you know, you believe, they all believe that they're the best, and, and I think that you're right, Haley. And for those of you joining us on YouTube and Facebook, you're not missing a single second of the action oh, here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh. Tiffany Nieves storms I'm not tired of you snatching my signs, girl. About time. I'm going to have to bring a sign for every fan in here because she wants to take them all. I mean, will you, will you bring one that's got, like, will you make me a sign? No. Can, can, that's me. I will not. Look at them. What are you guys doing? Focus on the match. That's why you can't win. Well, they can't get on the same page. You know, that's an issue that the bad girls oh, my goodness. Seem to be having. You know what? Like I said, everyone here thinks that they're the best, which is exactly why the Bougetowist baddie around, the baddest there is, was, and ever will be, is here to remind them that I am top dog, okay? Hey, fair enough. I don't think anyone's arguing with you on that one. Everyone yeah. in that ring right now would argue at that. Especially well, yeah, but down not here up here. I'm not apron. trying to get hit with the soccer rocks. Listen, we're fine, Josh. Well, we're good. We're all good. Well, I'd hope so. Are we good, Haley? Yes, Linda, you smell nice. Oh, you do too. <laughs> Thank you. You smell nice. Get up, Maria! Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, she almost had it. Did y'all oh, see that? It was, so it was this so close. close. It was real close. But again, look at Tiffany and Ellie. Yeah, they don't I even mean, care about him. You know, and, you want a new team member? I wear blue now. <laughs> you know, and here's the thing. Uh, let's be honest. Even when, you know, the LOB was running around, Jose and I, we always had a, a certain bond that set us apart from the rest of the guys. And, and maybe that's just what we're seeing with Tiffany and Ellie here. You but know, who I knows? I, I feel like they need to pay attention to what's going on in the ring. They're so worried about each other. That's their problem. They're selfish. Every single one of them is selfish. They don't even know what team means. Shellfish? They're allergic to shellfish? Selfish? Oh. Is that what you heard? That's what I heard. Uh-huh. Yeah, I got a bad That's my favorite kind of that. fish. All right, come on. Who's in the ring? Lady Bird, let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, she's scared. Tiffany, that doesn't surprise me. Hold on. Is she the legal one? Oh, oh, swing and a miss. Yes, America's sweethearts and Freya get anxious to get, get it, lady started bro. in this match. I know I'm on the right team. Oh, wow. Just look oh, at that bridge. Beautiful bridge, my great. Beautiful. Two count from referee Alice. Yeah. Look, these are little American sweethearts. They may be sweet, but they ain't taking none of this tartiness from the bad girls, mm. if I might. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh. No, Freya, pay attention. You should have known. Oh, good job, Lady Bird. Get into it. Oh, okay. Ellie. But Dream Girl she Ellie. Had, she had me. Mm. I thought she was ready. Dream Girl Ellie. Bro, once they're again. cheating. Freya, you got to get out. Oh. Referee Alice. Seeing what's happening right here. There's, there's so much hold going on. Hold on now. Hold on now. I'm pretty sure she turned around and seen both of them cheating. Mm. Yeah, referee struggling to keep control. Well, oh, come on. Come on, Freya. Get it together. And now Ellie and Tiffany They're in doing the it ring. Again, again that bond between Tiffany and Ellie getting stronger. We see that just in tag team Get action. That's crazy. That's crazy. She was standing wow. in the ring. And the ref just, I'll count the pan. It's fine. You know what, Tiffany? She must have paid her some money at this point. I mean, uh, Get it, Freya. you've got six very strong personalities in the ring. It's oh, hard to keep control out there. It you know, sounds I was, good. I was a former senior referee here in OBW, and I can tell you there were times where I was struggling to keep control of the match when your mom was in the ring. <laughs> She's, she was Was nuts, that man. a your mom joke? That Is was, that what Josh? I am not out there. How dare you? On live jokes. TV, you're bringing oh. up my mom move? No, I'm just saying. Referee having a, a little bit of difficulty They're in there with strong personalities. That's They're all. Cheating. Girl, she is cheating. I love your mom. If I make your mom joke, she'll come out here and beat me. I ain't trying to have that happen. She'll come out here and beat you. I don't got to do nothing. That's what I just said. Oh, I thought you said me. Okay. You don't listen. I, that's what she says. That's fair. <laughs> is that a that's what she said joke? Yeah, it is. It very well might have been, but cover oh, here from Sam Girl Ellie. Good job kicking out, girl. Two come on. count only. Sophia Rose anxious to get in and help out her tag partner as well. I, she hasn't even gotten We know what tag team all, means. She? We know how to mm. be team players. We're unselfish. Well, Freya's having a little issues these days, but she'll, 
get it together, I hope. Well, in the difficulty that you all are going to face on May the 2nd, it, you know, good tag team match. You want to cut the ring in half, but you're going to have to cut it into quarters and watch your back at every turn. Yeah, right. There will be three other teams on the apron waiting to get in there and get their hands on both you and Freya the Slayer. And a huge four corner tag team match. Man, I'll gladly are you hand ready? him Freya. Ah. I'll say, you're so big, girl, you can take two at a time. You gotta get oh, in there. Look at this, once again, the numbers game coming into play. Yeah, they're cheating. You know what's crazy is they're not involving Hema. Hema oh. almost being kind of left out, you're yeah. right. Looks like she's not the group favorite, huh? I thought Ellie was the ugly duckling. It's funny, it's turning to be Hema now. Dream girl Ellie. Those two rolling suplexes. Look at that, blowing a kiss to Tiffany Nieves. What? She's mm. trying for the three of me. Oh. oh, but hang on. There you go, tag out, girl. You got it, girl. Bit of momentum swing there by Lady Bird. And now Lady Bird trying to claw and scrape her way to the corner to get a tag, but once again, Ellie becoming a nightmare in that ring. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. Lady Bird creates the separation. Can she do it? Yes, she get it. In comes get it, Sophia. Rose. Get it, Sophia. Oh, oh Tiffany it, ducks, but oh, Hema doesn't. Nice, nice, nice. Oh. And a shot oh. for Ellie. What a pump kick. Sophia Rose is firing on all get cylinders. It. Look at that fire. You know, you've got to wonder, could this be something that we're going to see May 2nd in that fatal four-way four-corner tag team match? You want to see? Oh, oh, hold Wait on. Wait a minute. Is this oh, hold Wait. on. A women's champion, Layla Gray, making her wing reside. Well, there hang goes on. Haley. Layla might be out here. But Hollywood Haley James oh. pulls the women's champion down and starts swinging. A roll up a in the ring, but oh. referee too focused on what's happening. Like Tiffany was having that pin for more. Th oh, now it's. She got it. Here are your winners, the Bad Girls Club. Well, the Bad Girls Club picking up the victory. But Tiffany Nieves does not seem too happy with OBW Women's Champion Layla Gray. Again, more tension being shown from the Bad Girls Club. I, I mean, I'm confused myself, Josh. I'm confused all the time. I don't know what's going on here anymore. Your heart starts to race. You feel the adrenaline rush through your body. Your passion takes control. Oh! It's OVW Live on our first ever North American tour. Oh! See your favorite OVW superstars live in action as seen on the hit Netflix reality show, Wrestlers. Welcome to OVW. Coming to Nashville and Marathon Music Works on Friday night, April 26th. Get tickets now at ovwrestling.com. Wrestling. Wrestling. A love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand. A brand founded on the aspects of wrestling two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. From counting the lights in your local armory to main eventing in Corican Hall in Tokyo, Japan. Collar and elbow. The Wrestling Brand. When pain or an injury is keeping you from the game of life, we want to help you get back to your golf game, your yoga game, to the backyard games, the home games, back to the fun and games. Pro Rehab Physical Therapy, official physical therapy provider of Bellarmine Athletics and the trusted choice for keeping you in the game.
now, the Wix Pizza Rewind. Look at EC3 crumbling the man's dizzy. Oh, 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 Brian! What the hell? Are you kidding me? What is going The Minute Black oh. ran again with those clubs. Jack Bond being laid out by these masked men in black. EC3, Wait, nowhere to where be found. Where is EC3? Where is he? <laughs> that was the Wix Pizza Rewind. Wix Pizza on Baxter Avenue and Heights Lane in Louisville. Racing, you racing, could say. Yes. Towards May 2nd, OBW presents Double Cross Heart of the Kentucky Derby Festival, the 150th anniversary. And we are going to see Star Rider taking on Hota Pesos for the OBW Rush Division Championship. Yes, Hota Pesos defending it another time here against someone he's very familiar with, someone, Star Rider. Yeah, someone he knows Rush very, Division. very well. Absolutely. You know, and we just were talking with Hollywood Haley J. Yes. She was out here that fatal four-way, four-quarter four. women's tag team match. Yes, definitely looking forward to that one. We've got a combination of the Bad Girls Club facing Haley and Freya. Remember what happened last time at Marvin with that soccer rock. So you got to imagine if that's going to come to play as well as the All-American Sweethearts. That you will. And you know, ladies and gentlemen, we are so thankful and, and happy to be part of the 150th anniversary of the Kentucky Derby Festival. We're also celebrating 30 years of OVW. Go to OVWTix.com. That is OVWTIX.com. If you want to order your stream of OVW Double Cross. But Linda, why are we waiting? Let's get to our next matchup. The following contest is set for one fall. Introducing first, being accompanied to the ring by his peaches and cream tag team partner, Luscious Lawrence, Omar Amir. Omar Amir making his way out here flanked by Luscious Lawrence, who, I mean, he just, he looks like the skeeviest swinger I've ever seen. It's just, it's terrible. I don't care. I'm saying it. Look at him. Look at the man. It's terrible. Did you say the sleaziest swinger you've ever yes. seen? Yes. Yes, without a doubt. Doing some swinging right there. I mean, I guess I agree with you there, Josh. See, I'm not wrong. I'm rarely ever wrong. That's a fact. Oh, no, no, no. Why does he have a mic? Mirror, oh. mirror, on the wall. Who's the most luscious of them all? OVW, scream for the wet dream tag team. I think I have that same robe. The Slayers are in the building. Who was that over there to scream like that? That's that girl from last week, you remember her? Hey, 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 you meet Peaches and Cream by the concession stand after the show, girl. You make sure you're there. But listen, we have more important things to talk about. Did you guys see that dummy cash flow get his ass beat in the parking lot? <laughs> the OVW parking lot is a dangerous place. It's a dangerous place. I've been there. <laughs> but you know what? You know what? Cash flow is such a coward. I wouldn't put it past him to have orchestrated the whole thing just so he wouldn't have to face oh, Omar Amir. Come on. Because he's running scared. Such a hog. Such a hog. Such a hog. And not only that, we beat Shira down last week. That little Indian pussycat. Meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. Beat his ass down last week, so I bet Shira doesn't even come out here for this match tonight. He won't make it, he won't make it out. He's scared. Mahabali Shira, scared of nothing. 
Conte is showing it. Referee has not called for the bell. Oh, there goes Luscious oh. Lawrence. There's the bell. Yeah, Shearer not showing. He is scared at all. You know, I can tell you this right now. Cash flow would be here. Cash flow is mm. afraid of nothing. The only thing that would be preventing Cash from being here if he is not medically cleared. And, and I've texted Cash. I, I haven't heard back from him. Well, can he text you back? His hand got crushed exactly, in that door. Exactly. That, that hand slammed in a car door. And you've got to wonder the way that Omar Amir and Lush Lawrence are making light of this. It, it makes me wonder if they had something to do with it. I mean, we've seen these men in black attacking everybody. How do we even know it really was men in black? Exactly. How do we know it wasn't these two idiots? Exactly. I was going to say, I mean, they can get their all black attire. They are known for their attacks. I mean, cash flow, not afraid of anything. Definitely not right. afraid to face old Caribou Lou, Omar Amir himself. Cashflow and Omar battling over the OVW Heavyweight Championship plenty oh. of times. Shira angered getting, I mean, we don't know if they, meaning Omar and Lush has had anything to do with that attack, but just defending his tag team partner Cash. Like you said, me, Cash was set to face Omar Amir tonight, but obviously due to not being medically cleared, Shira stepping in for Mah his tag team partner. Yeah, Mahabali Shira understands cash flow. It is not just tag team partner, he's like a brother. Yeah. And Luscious trying to get involved on behalf. Oh! oh. <laughs> Mahabali Shira just like judo chopped him in the neck and sent him straight down. I mean, it's effective. Mahabali Shira has arms like tree limbs. Oh, man. And when he starts swinging them, there ain't nothing safe. Gotta feel good on Omar. Mahabali Shira now the Indian Lion stalking Omar Amir in his jungle. That's oh, Ooh, Mahabali Shira with a couple of choice words. Whoa. I don't know if I could repeat. But he is not happy with Omar Amir. Not happy, not scared. I mean, Omar had quite the words for Shira <laughs> before coming out. As well, I, mean, I don't know if that was very wise of Omar Amir. Yeah, Omar Amir collapsing to the canvas. Mahabali Shira going right after that arm. Luscious there at ringside. Again, the numbers are not in Shira's favor with cash flow being gone and hurt right now. He's not at all. Holding his own right now, though. You know, that's the thing. The numbers game, the numbers might be on the, uh, the advantage side of Beaches and Cream here. However, when Mahabali Shear is out there, he always has a numbers advantage. He's like three minute once you're trying to fight. He's an unstoppable force. I mean, he's known as the Golden Lion, but maybe more like a Golden Rhino. It's hard to take Mahabali Shear down. And look at this, Omar Amir trying to tee off on the jaw of Mahabali Shear, but Shira. Well, that just ticked him off. Sends Omar into the ropes. Oh! Huge back body drop. It oh. sends Omar over the top with a oh, clothesline. Oh, taking down Luscious at the same time. Mahabali Sheer in full control. Folks, we'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for joining us on YouTube and Facebook. Oh, oh Mahabali Shira, we thought. Oh, we thought oh he was going to on through. And Mahabali Shira stopped short, leapt over Omar Amir, and just beating the brakes off of Luscious Lawrence. This is too close for comfort almost. Copy that. Shots to the jaw. Both these men trading punches back and forth. And, and Linda, you're right, way too close for comfort for me. We see that anger from Mahabali Shira after what happened to Cash Flow. I still am in disbelief. I mean, again, it was an attack we saw just last night after training, after class, in the parking lot just outside. The men Ma in black. Well, hang on, Mahabali Shira, given what looks like Coach Boy Brew. Oh. 
Oh! One of those fans, he just bounces it off the temple of Omar Amir. Is that a cougar bait? I, I, I might have to go out. Well, hey, that can. Excuse if me. it was an orange cream cider, you better bring it to me. I'll finish whatever's left in the can. But now Mahabali Shira a little. got his eyes set on Luscious Lawrence, and Luscious backs off. It's a little flashback from that barroom brawl we saw at March Man. Oh, one of the wildest matches I've ever seen in OVW. So you see, once again, Luscious trying to reach in and cause a little distraction there on Mahabali Shira. Proving He's not careful. He's going to get his partner disqualified. Proving to be beneficial to have Luscious there at ringside. Again, we talked about that numbers game. I mean, it's working. Shira is clearly being distracted by Luscious Lawrence. Mahabali but Shira has to keep his eyes in the back of his head while he's got Luscious Lawrence at ringside. Ducks the clothesline. Mahabali Shira in full control here of Omar Amir. He tries to go for that Irish whip. Omar puts on the brakes. You, you got to think Shira. Uh, again, like I said, he has to have eyes in the back of his head when Luscious Lawrence is at ringside. Right. I mean, it looks like he got stopped right in his tracks when well, he, he saw Luscious standing right there outside of ringside. Yeah, you know, smart ring awareness by Mahabali Shira, but that half a second allowed Omar Amir to take advantage. And old Juicy Booty himself trying to get up there on the apron. Special Shane oh. Chess. Again, he's sure Luscious is back on the ground. He's got to be careful. He doesn't want to get his partner disqualified. Oh. Oh, worked out, though. A oh. short in the midsection of a spear from Omar. Mahavali Shira down. I mean, it takes a lot to take Shira down, as I mentioned before, and that did it. You know, if you don't. If it, at first you don't succeed, you try, try again, and it worked out that time for Beaches and Cream. The OVW faithful, though, fully behind Mahabali Shira, and you can hear it. Perhaps that giving some motivation for Shira as he was making his way up. Oh. Stomp oh. to the midsection from Omar Amir. And again, that OVW crowd. Letting Omar Mir hear it, but him and Luscious, I mean, not looking to really phase them at all. Shot to the back of the head. You know, they tried to injure Shearer last week uh, going after the ribs, that midsection there. And once again, Omar Amir, he's trying to pinpoint it, Linda. Yeah, very wise of Omar Amir to go for those ribs again. When we saw the hand of cash flow damaged earlier uh, in that video from last night, ooh, as Omar tees right back off on the midsection, Cash's hand slammed in that door, and again, it, if we get any word on the condition of cash flow, I, I had no idea, which is what's scaring me. Yeah. All right, if I'm being completely honest here, if something oh. happens to Cash, look at this. Hold on. Oh. Lush is choking away at Shira. If something happens to Cash, he, he normally reaches out to me. He lets me know he's okay. I haven't heard a word from him. I didn't see him around today. Thought maybe he's just running late. And then we get that video footage of what happened. I mean, it just really proves no one here is safe. Josh? No, no one's safe. We talk OVW. about having, needing eyes on the back of our heads. I mean, my head is on a swivel. Yeah, Who I might are have these, to... these men in black? I mean, come on. Yeah, you know what? I might just have to uh, go digging around, see if I can't find my crowbar, see if we can start bringing old Jason Todd to, to the desk with me. I might need it for protection myself at this point. Now Omar Amir back on to Mahabali Shear as you see Luscious Lawrence backing off saying, I didn't do anything, I didn't do anything. We know that's not true. And listen to the crowd here. Listen to the OVW faithful. Fully behind Mahabali Sheer and that energy, that love, that adoration. Now kicking it into another gear for Mahabali Shira. As he shrugs off the pain, Linda. You gotta believe that helps kick up Shira. I mean, not just physically, but his spirits as well. I mean, this crowd really cheering on Shira. They know how much cash flow means to him as well. His tag team partner, his brother, Mahabali defending his honor. Mahabali Shira, you see there? Oh! That split second he, that he took, that, that pain in his, his abdomen, his rib cage, causing him to flinch and gave Omar that momentary opening. Oh, and now Luscious. What? 
We got to get him away from ringside. This is not fair. Luscious not Lawrence fair. stomping away. And now just trying to shove Mahabali Shearer. You think, oh! oh. Ribs first right into the ring apron. You know, hardest part of the ring, they say, Linda. Did you also see, though, Luscious was ramming Shearer's ribs into that hard barricade? Again, focusing on the ribs, both him and Omar. Got to give it to them for, for working on the ribs that they I mean, it, it's started a, damaging last week. It's a smart strategy. As much as I hate to say it, it's the truth. It's a smart strategy. You know, you want to try to ground Mahabali Shearer, do anything you can, because once this man starts moving, he's a juggernaut. He's, he's damn near unstoppable. I mean, he's, he's like almost a... 285, 290 pound, just freight train of muscle slamming into you at every opportunity. Mahabali yeah. Shira is a dangerous competitor to be in the ring against because of that power, because of that strength. I mean, you think Shira is dangerous hmm. before. I mean, after what happened to Cashflow, well, can you get any more dangerous? An angry Shira, and frankly, a pissed off Shira is a terrifying Shira. Yeah. Would not want to be in Omar's position right now. Oh! Catches Omar Amir, sends him face first to that top turnbuckle. It, you know, I, I think Luscious Lawrence may have pulled that turnbuckle pad down to try to assist Omar Amir earlier in this match, and I think it might have just backfired on him. And you see Mahabali Shira, if he could do it, he's got him set up, he's got him prepped for that choke slam. Oh! The Iron Pillar taking him down. Wait a minute. The chair's now in the ring. What is and Luscious we, doing? Wait and we saw this last week. Luscious and Omar using a couple of chairs. Do some damage out here. Ma Bali Shira not having it. Oh, 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 and look at the face of Omar Amir. Oh, wow. What a shot from Mahabali Shira. Is this going to backfire on them? It, it did. Does. Your winner, Mahabali Shira. Peaches and Cream tried to take advantage of the situation, went to the well a little one too often. Shira had it scouted and got the victory. Absolutely, that ring awareness of Shira. I mean, you throw that chair in the ring, you know he's gonna get his hands on there, and hey, it proved to work in his favor tonight. Mahabali Shira saw what was about to happen, turned the tables on beaches and cream, and what a win for Mahabali Shira. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, as soon as we get some information on the medical status of cash flow. Well, oh, oh, wait a minute. Luscious Lawrence with another chair right in the midsection of Mahabali Shira. Right in those ribs again, Josh. Right to those injured ribs. And now, Wait a, oh, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. What is that? That's an uh, official. Luscious. Luscious Lawrence Come assaulting on. an official. That's a $10,000 fine here at OBW, putting his hands on Shane Chess. Wait a minute, what's going on oh, here? No, 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 no. Going right back oh. after that injured midsection of Mahabali Shira. Sure, out here on his own, as we know, Cash Flow is also out hurt. And, oh, man. Cash Flow assaulted last night after running his training class by those men in black. And, and Mahabali Shira, he's got no backup. This is just a mugging oh. now. Oh, my gosh. They're just focused, concentrated on that rib cage of Mahabali Shira. And look at that, Shira. Shira trying to cover those ribs up, but cannot. Oh my just gosh! Unable Josh. to do it. To Omar Amir and Luscious Lawrence, I mean, they dented that chair over the over the rib cage of Shira, smashed you with the other one. And now officials, referees, producers out here to stop this, and Omar's got that chair. Omar stating he's crazy. I mean, look Omar at that. Amir and Luscious Lawrence just continuing this assault. It's a $10,000 fine for assaulting an official. You start assaulting the, the producers, it's a whole different situation. Oh, I mean, we saw what happened to Cash Flow. Just witnessing what has happened to Ma Valley Shira. Man, I don't know uh, about the Omar Golden Lions condition right now. OBW 
was on its first ever North American tour, sponsored by... OVW is on its first ever North American tour, sponsored by Danos, and we can't wait to see you live. Get ready, London, Kentucky. We're headed your way March 30th at the Laurel London Optimist Club. Bell time, 7 p.m. Friday, April 26th, OVW is coming to Music City, USA, Nashville, Tennessee, and Marathon Music Works. Also on Friday, April 26th, we'll be live in Louisville, downtown at the waterfront once again this year as part of the Kentucky Derby Festival and our annual Run for the Ropes event. Plus, the Derby festivities continue on Thursday, May 2nd, back down on the waterfront for a special live TV broadcast of OVW Rise. We'll see you downtown on the waterfront for that one. And Friday, May 31st, OVW heads north to Des Plaines, Illinois for the first time ever, the Des Plaines Theater, bell time at 8 p.m. It's the first ever OVW National Tour presented by Thanos. Get your tickets today and experience OVW Live. support there is no us there's no talent no production without you there's no ovw thank you for being the driving force behind everything we do the unsung heroes of our saga so from the bottom of our hearts thank you ovw fans we can't do it without you there's an electricity in this building we take what we want click oh click welcome to
introduce him first. Accompanied to the ring by Jay De Niro from Bowling Green, Kentucky. He's bigger than... I said hurt, come to music. Harsh. What a star in this ring right now. Right now. I said let a star in this ring. The man said, hush. What's wrong with these people? Hush. Tell them to shut up. He did that. It didn't go too well for him, Shane. I've been traveling around, all around, falling on my back for the last eight years. It rings just like this. And for the last three years in this ring, falling on my back. A few weeks ago, I stood on that top rope, reaching for a glove, and Cal Hero grabbed me by my waist and threw me onto my back one more time. When I landed on my back, I also went up on my neck sideways, and I've had difficulties getting around ever since. Now, nobody in the back knows what I'm about to say. And hell, I can't even believe I'm about to say it. But um, as of this moment right now, I will no longer be falling on my back in this ring again. And that's because there's not a damn soul back there that can put me on my back in this ring anymore. So I don't care if it's any of you, anybody back there, anybody around this country that wants some of me. If you want a piece of superior Tony Evans, come get it. And his opponent from Las Vegas, Texas, he is the OVW Rex Division Champion, Hosta Peso! Hosta Peso is the OVW Rex Division Champion making his way out here, Shannon, after Tony Evans declaring, I will not be put on my back any further. But here's the thing, Tony Evans, Got Jay De Niro in his corner. Jay De Niro, he has oceans of bad blood with Ota Peso. Well, there may be one or two guys in the back that can put Superior Tony Evans on his back, but I don't think that Peso is going to be one of those guys here tonight. We're about to find out. Jay De Niro, look at this, Shannon, fuming at ringside. As Dwight Schrute would say, identity theft is not a joke, Shannon. And you can look at Hosta Peso, still wearing the gear similar to that of Jay De Niro, which got under De Niro's skin just a few short months ago. Well, first of all, I'm not an office guy, and I think the peso's got a clip-on tie. That's not even a real tie. Look at that. I can tell it's a clip-on. Oh, come on. If it's a clip-on, it would have came off already in all the high-flying, high-octane matches that Ooh, oh, the peso has had. Hey, at least Tony Evans, he's not on his back. <laughs> okay, that's a fair point. He's not on his back. Landed on his front, but Hoda Peso taking down Tony Evans early on here. You look at De Niro still ringside, and here's the thing, Shannon. De Niro usually the calm in the storm with Tony Evans. He saw Tony Evans had to... Oh, oh look at this. Go to pace up and over, though. Oh, Tony Evans had to restrain Jay De Niro early on in this matchup. Oh, to Peso feeling right now. Look at that, keeping his eyes on De Niro, saying stay out of this. Look up. 
Oh, oh. Ooh. See, that's superior Tony Evans right there, outsmarting Peso. A superior sidestep. You've heard of an inferiority complex before, right? Sure. Well, Tony Evans has got a superiority complex. He's the best wrestler around. If you don't believe me, just ask him. He'll tell you. He does on an absolutely weekly basis. Shannon, I, I would agree with you more in their first five minutes back at the desk than I have been doing in the desk for you for three years. Tony Evans in control of this match and Hota Pesa, OVW Rush Division champion. And Shannon, Tony, Tony Evans, not a Rush Division guy, but a win over a champion is a win over a champion. That's right. It doesn't matter. Tony Evans has racked up some big wins throughout his career here in OVW. This would just be another notch on his belt. Hota Pesa, no notch in any man's belt. Going to try to fight back. Oh, stunner out of nowhere. Look out. Again, to your credit, Tony Evans not hitting his back, landing chest and stomach first. That's right. Get up. Get up, Tony. He wasn't on his back. You didn't see that. No, it was a rolling sort of situation. That's right. Tony Evans getting back to his feet. Referee check and make sure he can continue. Hoda Peso getting some desperately needed moments to recover here. Now this, now this crowd, Shannon, seems to think that Tony did fall on his back. What do they know? They're a bunch of idiots. It doesn't matter what any of these people say. Hoda Peso, hold on. I'd be looking for that 450. If he hits that, that'd be all she wrote for Tony Evans. Uh oh, come on. Jay De Niro on the apron here. Hold, hold on. Star Rider. Star Rider, the number one contender. What's he doing out here? Even in the odds, oh. taking out. Oh, hold on. Look what happened to Peso. Star Rider trying to get Jay De Niro, but inadvertently taking down Hoda off the top rope while he was at it. And Tony Evans right now. Like a shark, he smells blood in the oh, water. Oh, oh, God, you hear the impact? Your winner of this match, Tony Evans! Star Rider coming out here trying to help man, trying to even the odds here and take out Jaden Nero, but in the process. Superior. Took down the Russian Vision yeah. champion off the top rope. Well, you know, I don't care what Professor Mick Foley said out here a few weeks ago. That's an A-plus wrestler right there, Tony Evans. Folks, we are on our way to Double Cross May 2nd at the Louisville Waterfront in the Great Lawn. Shannon, we're celebrating 30 years of OVW at the 150th anniversary of the Kentucky Derby Festival. Let's go ahead and take a peek at what you can expect to see at Double Cross on May 2nd, right now. Down the frontier, where loyalty is hard to come by, a Double Cross can leave you staring down the barrel of a six-shooter. In a land where every handshake hides a secret agenda, trust is a luxury few can afford. And I know you're the dirty dog that Double Crossed me. OVW presents Double Cross. Live on pay per view Thursday, May 2nd. Order now at ovwrestling.com. Wrestling. Wrestling. A love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand. A brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. From counting the lights in your local armory to main eventing in Corican Hall in Tokyo, Japan. Collar and elbow. The wrestling brand. injury is keeping you from the game of life we want to help you get back 
to your golf game, your yoga game, to the backyard games, the home games, back to the fun and games. Pro Rehab Physical Therapy, official physical therapy provider of Bellarmine Athletics and the trusted choice for keeping you in the game. And now, Hot Point presents the toughest moment of the night. Hold on, it's being an iceberg. Bring your hands on him up. The desperation in his eyes is understandable. How are you going to separate this? I know. Oh, oh, oh. Got another bad girl down. I know. Bad girl's clever, too. You got to think, were their mind games successful? Haley and Frey on the same page, but for how long? The toughest moment of the night. Brought to you by Hot Point. America's hardest working appliances. Drake! Carson Drake been making waves in OVW over the last several weeks and got six man tag team action tonight. And I don't think anyone on the other side of the ring is a big fan of Carson Drake, Shane. Well, you can count me in. I'm one. I'm a fan and of Carson Drake, but I'm. Team partners. Representing the Overmen, he is one half of the OVW Tag Team Champions, Adam Revolver! As I was saying, I'm a much bigger fan of this guy right here. Adam Revolver, baby! Yeah, one of the Overmen. I'm an Overman, you know, Kennison. Oh, I know. I might have heard that. And their tag team partner, from right here in the middle, the Beat Mode Beast, Big Zoe! Big Zoe making a big energetic entrance here. Might be the wild card on this tag team. Revolver and Carson Drake come from the same block. But... And their opponents, Accompanied by Crystal and Katie from Liverpool by way of Los Angeles, Ryan Von Rocket! Tag team partners, the 80s baby, and the mammoth Donovan Cecil. They are Tusks and Chains. Rocket trying his best to bond with Tuscan Chains before this six-man tag. Look at that, all fired up and ready to go. This is quite an interesting team here of Ryan Von Rocket and Tuscan Chains, wouldn't you say? I, uh, you know, I actually agree with that wholeheartedly. You got a little bit of funk, you got a little bit of rock and roll, and you got a little bit of a heavy metal in uh, Donovan Cecil, if you will. Now, look at Revolver here, looking to start right. things out. Hey. Adam Revolver isn't afraid of anybody. Oh, look well, at that. Taking that cheap shot on TW3. What, like a, what do you mean cheap shot? That was a true hero move right there by Adam Revolver. By punching the man when his back's turned? Of course. Oh, come on, TW, turn around there. Look at that hip toss taking over Revolver. Now we will see Tuscan Chains challenging Adam Revolver and Big Bo for those OVW Tag Team Championships May 2nd at Double Cross. And folks, you can order that pay-per-view at OVWTicks.com. But if you're in Louisville, get a Pegasus pin. Join us on the Great Lawn May 2nd, Double Cross. Boom! Oh, celebrate oh. 30 years of OVW. Some illegal, illegal double-teaming right there by Tuscan Chains. No, hey, they got out in time. Nothing illegal about that at all. Oh, hold on. Carson Drake 
Looking to square up against Donovan Cecil here. Nothing, maybe big, taking a big zone might have been the better idea for a dunk. Uh oh, look out. Oh no! The most Try the other hand, Carson. <laughs> Actually, that's not a bad strategy either. Carson Drake looking to get out, maybe live to fight another day here. He's gonna regroup out here with Guitari and Chalante. It's a lot of singing talent out here. Guitari and Chalante once up. Here come the Von Rockettes. Well, I'm a fan of the Van Rockettes too. Oh, I know. I saw you backstage trying to get those digits. I'm, I'm aware. Look at the Ryan Von Rocket. He's not afraid to get in the face. Oh! oh. Donovan Cecil overpowering Carson Drake here. Wait a minute. What's Carson Drake doing? I think he just reached into his wallet. Oh, oh no! <laughs> wow, beating the investments out of Carson Drake. That was at least five or six hundred bucks. Well, Donovan that, Cecil should have taken it and, and left. Uh, there might be five, six hundred bucks, but that's a million dollar chunk. Oh, no. Look at this. Pulling in both of Carson Drake's ladies here. Hey, get your money while you're in there, ladies. Ari oh, no. Oh, Ari Chalante dropped. Devon Referee's already lost control of this match. Get us a look out. Turned into Bedlam so fast. Look at this Carson Drake being taken for a spin by Donovan Cecil. It's like an in-ring tornado happening right now. Oh. <laughs> get out of there. <laughs> Carson Drake screaming in pain, getting disoriented and dizzy. He might pass out under that pressure. Oh. Donovan Cecil, just so powerful. Tuscan chains have really gelled together so quickly, Shannon. Like, DW3 and Donovan have not been teaming for long, but they have really hit their stride. And was that how you see it? Look, right now, Big Zoe, Carson Drake, Revolver, they're just getting on the same page. It, it may have taken a couple of minutes, but you wait. This is a, this is a well-oiled machine right here. Well, I think Carson Drake about to vomit a bunch of oil up right now to that big spin from it's Donovan. It's a well-oiled machine that cost a lot of money. Look at all that money in the ring. And of course, I see your client, the one who's sticking it. Oh, are you kidding there me? There we go, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Adam Revolver just gave me a couple hundred bucks. Okay, well, it looks like you guys are eating good at Waffle House a little bit later on after the show. What are you talking about? He looks like a hash brown. Uncooked, of course. You don't shut up, you're gonna be smothered and covered. Carson Drake, smothered and covered on the outside, covered in sweat and dis and embarrassment. But look at this now, Big Zoe and Donovan Cecil squaring off nose to nose. Look at this, we're gonna have a dance off. Look at Big Zoe's moves. I bet Donovan Cecil can't dance like that. Oh, hold on. We got a good old fashioned ram off here. This is a test of strength like you've never seen here in Davis Arena before. Oh, again. This is a dominance thing, purely, Shannon. I mean, this is, this, this, there's no wrestling technique, and this, this is purely I'm stronger than you. We're about to find out which one is stronger. Oh, my God, the ring just shifted. I think the entire arena just shifted. These are two massive men just running full speed at each other. Here's the difference with Zoe oh. and his teammates. He likes this competition. Iron strengthening iron here. Did you see that kick? I think Donovan Cecil wants to go back to the dance-off after that. Donovan didn't see it because his eyes rolled to the back of his head afterwards. Oh. oh, look at that! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! How freaking strong is Donovan Cecil? He just grabbed Big Zoe midair. I've never seen anybody pick up Big Zoe like that. Oh, oh God! Picked him up, held him like a baby, then dropped him so hard he broke the ring in half. Big Zoe in big trouble here. TW3 going up to the top. What the funk are they thinking here? What did you just say? Look out. He's going to fly. <laughs> t Dub got it here. Big Zoe somehow kicking out. Well, Big Zoe is a, a tough individual. He's not going to go that easily. It's going to take a lot more than that to put away Big Zoe. Well, Shane, I'm sure you talked to Adam about this match beforehand. Is the goal to soften up T-Dub and Donovan heading into a double cross? I mean, of course that that's the goal. We always have a strategy. The overmen, we are overly awesome, overachievers. <laughs> We're over, man. And that, of course, is always the goal. Soften up your opponent before the big match. All right now. Big Zoe doing a good job of that with T-Dub. They are cutting this ring in half and isolating the 80s, baby. 
See, just like I told you, well-oiled machine right here, this team of Zoe, Carson Drake, and Adam Revolver. Like you said, might have taken him a second to get on the same page with Big Zoe doing a good job of shifting the momentum to his team's side. You know, we may have to consider Big Zoe and Carson Drake over men tonight. He, he just had people oh. on the fly. Look at that suplex on the fly. I have that power. T-Dub, back-to-back drop kicks now feeling it. Come on, Revolver, get up. You're the best wrestler in OVW history. Show everybody. Come on. That's might be a little gratuitous. What are you talking about? Tito going up top. Look at this, Solante and Ari. Cutting off Tito at the pass, allowing Revolver to get to his corner. What are the, what are the Von Rockets doing? Von Rockets playing equalizers. Carson Drake now grabbing Tito. Oh, big right hand. There you go. Too much time though. Revolver had time to recover. Great in-ring awareness right there by Adam Revolver. And nothing to do with the fact that all the interference and distraction, no, anything like that. No, nothing to do with that. Oh, okay. That is 100% intuition. Oh, look out! Oh, oh my God! DW3 is a pancake after that one. Extra syrup. Good Lord. Two count. Wouldn't have been surprised if it was a three there, though. That massive frame of Big Zoe coming down. Zoe. Give him another one, Give another one. I think he heard you. Might be going for that drop. Oh, yeah! Oh! A little bit of a drop. Sorry, diving headbutt there. Oh, oh. TW3 is more like TW one and a half right now. Being chipped away at right now, that's for sure. You see that brace on the knee of T-Dub. That means a conveyance already hindered here. Carson Drake happy to come in and pick the bones. That's right. This team operating just like I drew it up backstage. And folks, this Saturday, we will be in London, Kentucky at the London Laurel Optimist Club, and we want to see you there. Tickets are on sale at ovwtix.com. Folks, you are not going to miss that one. We, we pride ourselves on how we handle ourselves on the road. You're going to see things you would never see before at this show. So make sure March 30th, you head to the Laurel London Optimist Club in London, Kentucky, 7 p.m. ovwtix.com to get your tickets right now. We're worldwide now. We're going to London. What? Different London. Oh, mate. Wait, no, that's Still Australia. London. That was Australia. Oh, Big Zoe, look at that, taking out Donovan in the corner. And again, Tita being isolated, had this ring cut in half, and Shannon is a man who's man managed many tag teams. You gotta think, this is, this is strategy one-on-one. Here's the thing, I drew up the plan backstage. I could sit here and do commentary. I don't even have to manage this match, because my guys, we've got it under control. Yeah, but only one of your guys is in there. You got two wild cards, Shannon. Well, tonight, as I said, Carson Drake, Big Zoe, they're honorary over men. Big Zoverman. There we go. Carson Drake tagging in. Look at this. Front face lock here, taking down T-Dub. You got to think he's maybe just trying to empty out the tank of, of T-Dub here. Well, I think it's about on E. There's not much left. You're absolutely right. I think T-Dub has to get to his corner, and he has to do it soon. He any chance of holding on to this matchup. T-Dub trying to overpower Carson Drake, but how much can be left? T-Dub on... Like you said, running on empty. Where is he going to find something in the reserves here? This crowd trying to will him on. He's so not there yet. There you go. So <laughs> close. And he saw that desperation from T-Dub just stretching that little bit extra, opening himself up enough that Carson Drake was able to get that cheap shot. And again, a cheap shot from Carson Drake. Nothing wrong with that. There was nothing cheap about it. Oh, there he saw all that money in the ring. Von Rocket. Nothing cheap about this team, Von Rocket, though, going off on Revolver. Come on, Revolver, do something. Von Rocket, the freshman and former country boy brewing Kentucky heavyweight champion, former heavyweight oh. champion. Von Rocket feeling it right now. Oh, oh, that's a cheap shot right there. Why don't you call it like it is, that, Tennyson? That's an atomic oh. drop, it's what that is. Into a power slide. Revolver can't keep up with Ryan Von Rocket there. Another cheap shot. Well, Ryan Von Rocket in there playing solo right now. Oh, there's press. Carson Drake, he has angered. He has embarrassed Ryan Von Rocket. Von Rocket getting some revenge. We look at Big Zoe saving it for his team here. I think Von Rocket just upset that Carson Drake is actually the better singer, the better musician, the better performer than he is. What's your favorite Carson Drake oh, song? No, oh, no. Von Rocket ducked the other way. Carson struck his own look teammate. Oh. Look at that. Donovan taking Zoe to the outside. We got chaos out here. Absolute madness here. Ron Rocket alone with Carson and Drake. Shake, rattle, and roll. Neck, we go. Hold on. Carson able to slip out, taking out Revolver. And hold on. Rocket rolled up. He's got him. Oh, good clean win by Carson Drake. Yeah. Oh, come on. Your winners of this match, the team of Biggs.
Rizzo, Adam Revolver, and Carson Drake! Just like I grew it up, Kennison! Oh, come on, ridiculous. <laughs> Put on the ropes, pulling the tights. I don't know if you could have added another cheat there if you wanted to. Look at that, Big Zo, though. You must have been watching a different match. I didn't see any of that. Oh, come on. Revolver, Carson Drake, Big Zo picking up the win, but with a big asterisk. OVW is on its first ever North American tour, sponsored by Danos, and we can't wait to see you live. Get ready, London, Kentucky. We're headed your way March 30th at the Laurel London Optimus Club. Bell time, 7 p.m. Friday, April 26th, OVW is coming to Music City, USA, Nashville, Tennessee, and Marathon Music Works. Also on Friday, April 26th, we'll be live in Louisville, downtown at the waterfront once again this year as part of the Kentucky Derby Festival and our annual Run for the Ropes event. Plus, the Derby festivities continue on Thursday, May 2nd, back down on the waterfront for a special live TV broadcast of OVW Rise. We'll see you downtown on the waterfront for that one. And Friday, May 31st, OVW heads north to Des Plaines, Illinois for the first time ever, the Des Plaines Theater, bell time at 8 p.m. It's the first ever OVW National Tour presented by Danos. Get your tickets today and experience OVW Live. Wrestling, wrestling, a love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand, a brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. From counting the lights in your local armory to main eventing in Corican Hall in Tokyo, Japan. Collar and elbow. The wrestling. 90% of natural sleep aids don't work. Most remedies make bold claims, but never measure their real impact. Meet Sophie, the natural plant-based spray that does. Sophie isn't one size fits all. It experiments with different plant extracts to find what works for you. Paired with an app and machine learning, Sophie learns to optimize your sleep because not all plants work the same for everyone. Sophie is as unique as you. If you've ever dreamed of being part of professional wrestling or sports entertainment, make that dream a reality and attend the world-famous Harvard of Pro Wrestling. The OVW Academy with Al Snow, the birthplace of legends including Batista, John Cena, Randy Orton, The Miz, and many more. Will you be the next name added to that impressive list? Visit OVWAcademy.com and apply now. And now, the Wix Pizza Rewind. Look at EC3 crumble the man's dizzy. Oh, 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 Brian! What the hell? Are you kidding me? What is going on? The minute black oh. ran again with those clubs. Jack Bond being laid out by these masked men in black. EC3 Wait, nowhere to be found. Where is EC3? Where is he? <laughs> well, I know. That was the Wix Pizza Rewind. Wix Pizza on Baxter Avenue and Hikes Lane in Louisville. Hello everyone and welcome back to the world famous Davis Arena where we are just weeks away from Double Cross at the Great Lawn at the Louisville Waterfront. Shannon, that pay-per-view is shaping up to be something special. That's right, you're not going to want to miss it. You can get all the details at ovwrestling.com. Folks, it is the 150th anniversary of the Kentucky Derby and the Kentucky Derby Festival. So what better time to celebrate 30 years of OVW than being a part of one of the biggest things in Kentucky's history, folks. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. It is absolutely free to the uh, to the public. All you have to do is have a Pegasus pin, and it will get you in, Shannon. That's right. So get out there. Check it all out. we got a great lineup, a great card for this show as well. It's shaping up to be one of the greats. Hota Peso will defend that LVW Rush Division Championship against Star Rider. A couple of guys who aren't afraid to leave their feet. They fly around the ring so much they got their own frequent flyer miles. Speaking of guys that are afraid, we got Adam Revolver and Big Bo, your overman, defending the OVW Tag Team Championships against Tusk and Chains. Let me tell you something about Tusk and Chains. TW3, Donovan Cecil, the guy that thinks he's an elephant, 
Well, let me tell you, the Overman, we're going trophy hunting at Double Cross. Do you understand that? And after we get the one, two, three, we're going to cut off the tusk and hold up our very own trophy from TW3 and Donovan Cecil, the, the big elephant. That got incredibly dark. But folks, we're also going to see the Country Boy Brewing OVW Media Championship, Cal Hero defending against Carson Drick. And folks, it is going to be incredible. Well, make sure you go ahead and get your pay-per-view stream at ovwtix.com. But folks, if you're in the Louisville area, again, Double Cross is absolutely free for you at the Louisville Waterfront. As long as you have that Pegasus pin, you're not going to want to miss a second of that Kentucky Derby Festival spectacular show. That's right. Get out there, get your tickets. It's going to be one of the best shows all year. Double Cross with OVW. All right, folks, let's go ahead and keep going here on OVW Rise. we got so much more action to go. Let's get to it. W Heavyweight Championship time, Shannon, and look at that stare in Tony Gunn's eyes. It doesn't get any bigger than this. Luke Curtis has been waiting for this moment for a long time, this opportunity. He's so anxious to get the match going, he actually held the rope for Tony Gunn to get into the ring. The following is your match. Introducing first the challenger from Miami, Florida, certified Luke Curtis. And his opponent from Jonesboro, Arkansas, he is the OVW Heavyweight Champion, Shotgun Tony. And you can feel the tension between Tony Gunn and Luke Curtis. I mean, you could feel the emotion dripping out of Luke Curtis last week, but at the same time, you can feel Tony Gunn almost saying, Luke, you say you're going to put me down, but you're not the first person that said that. That's right. A lot of men have tried to take that away from Tony Gunn, but they have all failed, just like I think that Luke Curtis is about to do right now. You know, Luke Curtis and I, we used to be tight. He was an overman, but I think that he wanted to go his own way. He wanted to do things his way. And he went from an overman to an underling, in my opinion. I mean, some would argue he's an underling and the overman, but now Luke Curtis finds himself against, across the ring from the OEW heavyweight champion with an opportunity to claim that gold for the first time. 
there's one thing I can tell you, you can't trust certified Luke Curtis. I'm not going to say you can't trust Tony Gunn, but you can never count him out when his back's in the corner. Right now, championship on oh, the line. Oh, 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 little trash talking. You can't trust anything that Luke Curtis says either. Oh, oh, little kick to the midsection there. Tony Gunn might have got under the skin there of Luke Curtis. A little slap to start things out here. And Shannon, if you remember, we started on respect with these two last week. They understood oh, the understanding two weeks ago that if Tony Gunn hit that kill shot, whoever he hit it on, he could go for the championship. Luke Curtis said, if I hit the certifier, you give me that same respect. And then a little bit of miscommunication in that tag match. I think that's what you're seeing right now. These guys, I think it, it, on one hand, respect each other, but right now they're, they're throwing that out the window. It doesn't matter about respect. All that matters is winning the gold. Luke Curtis right now with a huge opportunity, and tonight could be his night. And well, let me ask you though, Shane, I mean, Luke Curtis, he's been nefarious in the past. He's taken some shortcuts, I mean, probably some of your behest. Luke Curtis, this Luke Curtis, this tonight, does he want to win that by any means necessary, or does he want to prove he's better? Well, I think if he wins it, he will prove that he's better, right? But, you know, if Luke Curtis would have stuck with me, he would have already had that title around his waist. We wouldn't be having this match or this conversation right now. Well, he wants to do it the hard way, that's fine. All right now, Luke Curtis, there's no easy way to face Tony Gunn, especially when the OVW Heavyweight Championship's on the line. Luke Curtis, no opportunity for an easy way tonight. Look at these two right here again, trying to one-up each other. You think Jack Vaughn somewhere watching this match very, very closely, and you think EC3 was somewhere watching this match very closely, knowing that that Heavyweight Championship is a direct beeline to his OVW National Heavyweight Championship. And you know, Luke Curtis, he wants all the gold that he can get. He wants the national title. He wants the, the world heavyweight title, which he could get tonight, but oh, he's not gonna get it like that. Tony Gunn blasting Luke Curtis all the way out of the ring with that shoulder block. Oh, Gunn, up and over, nobody home. Luke Curtis getting out of the way, but goes for that punt kick. Oh, caught oh. him on the apron. You know, it's been said, that's the hardest part of the ring. There's still, still posts, posts are still. Right now, Tony Gunn in a bad position outside. Luke Curtis found a way to one-up the Arkansas Roughneck here. Luke Curtis, such a hungry competitor, Shannon. He, he's fought tooth and nail to get into this position. You gotta think it's gonna take an act of God to put him down tonight to lose this opportunity. Well, if anybody could do it, it's Tony Gunn as we highlight it at the start of the match. Tony Gunn, oh! Has run through just about everybody in the OVW locker room who has challenged Tony Gunn for that title. And Tony Gunn still has that title around his waist. And guys, this is saying something. I don't think we've ever seen the OVW Heavyweight Championship in such a oh. volatile situation before. We got, oh, these two. I mean, how do you counter an arm bar? Just kick a guy in the face. That usually works. Hey, exactly. Yeah, their face is open. Kick them in it. I'm sure that'll do something. Oh, Tony Gunn sweeping the legs. Might be looking for that Texas Cloverleaf, but look at that. Luke Curtis able to battle out and get to the ropes. Talk about the sense of desperation from Luke Curtis. I think that's being matched right now equally by Tony Gunn. Taking out those ropes, taking out those legs, now side headlock. Tony Gunn, he's letting his emotions get the better of him. Oh, rolls him up. You get, saw Tony go jaw jack in there, having little issues with the referee, and Luke Curtis used that opportunity to capitalize. Luke Curtis right now just trying to put all of his weight on Tony Gunn, wear him down. Get Tony Gunn out of breath as much as possible to, to get the upper hand here. That might be what Luke Curtis has to do in this chip away at Tony Gunn piece by piece. He's saying, I, I don't think it's going to be one big move that puts either of these men away. It's going to have to, it's gonna have to be a strategy, a death by a thousand cuts. Yeah. All it takes is, well, literally three seconds. You may have a, a situation here where somebody just catches somebody off guard. Able to get his arm there, shoulder up. Oh, Tony Gunn, look at that handful of hair. And Tony being very uncharacteristic here lately against Luke Curtis. I think the certified one has really gotten into the psyche of Tony Gunn. The OVW Heavyweight Championship hangs in the balance here as Tony Gunn is defended against Luke Curtis. And Shannon, it's one of the biggest prizes, not just in OVW, but in the sport of professional oh. wrestling. And you know how much that would mean if Luke Curtis could somehow, by hook or by crook, leave tonight with that title around his waist. It's one of the few things Luke Curtis has not accomplished here in OVW. He's been the Rush Division Champion. He's been a tag team champion. He's yet to hold the OVW Heavyweight Championship. Tony Gunn holding it four times. Oh! oh. Springboard dropkick takes him off the apron. 
Luke Curtis pulling some new things out of the bag here tonight, Shannon. That's right. Tony Dunn did not see that coming, but he sure felt it. All right, let me ask you this, Shannon. You want to talk bad about Luke Curtis? I get he hurt you. You are wrong. Wait a minute. Look out. Oh, hold it. Up and over. Nobody home. Oh. Ooh, <laughs> suplex. And that is a thin padding on the outside, folks. That is it, it's almost more decorative than anything. That is a concrete slab underneath. And Certified is filling every bit of that right now. So with no one certified so incredibly well, Shannon, if, if Tony Gunn had to find a weakness, if he had to find somewhere to focus on for Luke Curtis, where, where's he going? What's his pain point? Well, I can tell you right now for certified Luke Curtis, since leaving the Overman, he's more worried about what all these idiots out here think about him and not focused on the prize. So if I'm Tony Gunn, ooh, look at that. You, you got to wait for certified to be basking in the glory, and at that moment, you strike. Shannon, I, I will, I hate to say it, but I, I think you might be Kind of right, Luke Curtis. Oh, oh God, tossing the guardrail. Oh, I'm sorry, that barricade. And Tony Gunn, you're seeing the emotion pour out of him. Uncharacteristic rage even for Tony Gunn, and that just shows how much that championship means. That's right. He'll do anything he can to defend that title, as he has done so many times successfully. But I'm telling you, certified isn't looking too certified right now. All right, all right. If I was the referee, I might be a little more cautious. I'll talk to Tony. Gunn just gave him that who the hell do you think you are stare. This is Tony Gunn's chance right here. Tony Gunn in firm control. That click, click, boom chant. Agging him on Gunn. Might be looking something big here from that top rope. Oh. Lands the diving knee flush. And Shannon, we might be just getting closer, inching closer to a Tony Gunn win. Well, we've seen that flying knee so many times, and I think we all know what comes after that. Tony Gunn filling up the barrel with Buckshot. He is ready for the kill shot, but Luke Curtis still might have too much left in the... T Look at this. Tony Gunn not focused here, Shannon. Tony Gunn letting his emotions get the best of him. And you got to think some of this was based on the way Luke Curtis talked to Tony last night. He said, you're going to be forgotten to the history of OVW. Tony Gunn. Not any man's stepping stone. That's right. Certified Luke Curtis is paying for it right now for those comments. Oh! At the hands of Tony Gunn. Oh, here we go. Going for the pin here. Two count. And Shannon, again, Tony Gunn not hooking the leg. You got the emotions getting the better of him. That's right. I mean, in a match like this, you got to do everything, even the basics, right? And... A mistake like that could cost you the title. You're absolutely right. There's the old saying that the nickels, if you watch the nickels and dimes, the dollars watch themselves. Tony has to watch the little things and not let a mistake lead to a oh. loss. Just removed there by Luke Curtis. Oh, look at that. Luke Curtis. Move a Death Valley driver variation there. Dropping Tony Gunn and certified, though. He's taking so much damage, can't even capitalize or go for the pin here. Just like that. Luke Curtis may have a, an opportunity here if he can get to his feet or just crawl over and make the cover, but too late now, Tony Gunn's already up to his knees. Yeah, I think that's the debate you make when you're Luke Curtis. Do I take these seconds to breathe? Do, do I go to do more damage? Do I do the pit? Oh, hold on. Slip through two count. Luke Curtis almost became champion right there. The Tony Gunn. Gunn rolls him through. Two count. Oh, look at that. Referee almost got taken out there. Oh, hold on. Go for a crucifix pin here. Oh. Back and forth, another two count. Tony might be looking to take out the trash. It's Curtis over in that release suplex, Shannon. I think these, these two are done messing around. They're just going for the pin. At first, it was all about disrespecting each other. Then it was about showing who's more powerful. At now it's about just trying to get that, that one, two, three. At the end of the day, it's about that OVW Heavyweight Championship. It's about pride. Per oh, that personal stakes in this matchup as well after the way these two talked to each other last week. Could oh. this be it here? Oh. Just a two count. You're seeing that frustration in the body language of Luke Curtis there. Thought he had it less than a second from OVW Heavyweight Championship. Less than a second from achieving his dream of becoming the OVW Champion. Luke Curtis said very, very clearly last week, this is the certified era. Oh! oh. You need a championship to claim that, though. Tony Gunn dropping Curtis. What is this? Looking for that cloverleaf. 
Gunn trying to get him over. Curtis fighting it desperately. Gunn trying to get him fully rotated. Luke Curtis still holding on here. That's right, certified trying to do it all on his own, right? Wouldn't it be nice to have a manager out there to help you right now? <laughs> I think Luke Curtis. Too bad, Luke Curtis. Luke Curtis would love some help right now, Shannon, but I think he also wants to do it on his own. And look at that, all the blood rushing to his head and the top of his body. Beat red. Luke is reaching out. He's saying, even if Luke doesn't tap out, if he passes out, Tony Gunn still wins here. Shannon, we've seen a lot of people pass out from pain. Oh, look oh. at it. That's a desperation move. Luke Curtis somehow getting to that rope and keeping his championship dreams alive. And look at the look on Tony Gunn's face, wondering what the hell do I have to do to put this guy down? He... Tony Gunn has thrown everything that he has at Luke Curtis, and Luke has taken it. And Luke Tony Curtis... Gunn is not able to put him away. And Luke Curtis, you know, he won the Nightmare Rumble this year, earned that opportunity to challenge for the National Heavyweight Championship. Oh, oh! Sorry, he challenged for the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship. Luke Curtis in a losing effort, but came so incredibly close. You guys think he does not want a back-to-back -back championship loss here to Tony Gunn. How far down the ladder does that put Luke Curtis? Well, that would definitely drop you down a few rungs. There's no doubt about that. And here's the thing, Luke Curtis, he knows that heavyweight championship makes him number one contender for the national heavyweight championship. If he can win that, he's the, then the number one contender for the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship. And then that gives him another opportunity to etch his name in the record books along the, the, the likes of Flair and Race. Well, hold on. Wait a minute. Oh, you saw it right there, the, the lower back of Luke Curtis just gave out. He saw Tony Gunn smiling, realizing two count, realizing he might have Curtis right where he wants him. Tony Gunn now realizing Luke Curtis, his mobility may be affected here. And Tony might have a little more room to breathe than he thought. You see Luke. Favoring that lower back. Tony Gunn sees an opportunity. This could be the opportunity that he needs to put this one away and retain the title. Ooh, kick right oh. there to the temple. A little bit click, click, boom, and certify back and forth here. What does Tony Gunn have in mind here? This was a vote, it looks like he split 50-50, but folks, this is a fight. Tony Gunn thinking something big here, willing to go for it all to hold on to that OVW Heavyweight Championship. Luke Curtis, he might be on spaghetti legs at this point, Shane. I don't know how much more Certified has in the tank. Well, I can tell you one thing, this is about to be bad for somebody. Look at, Luke Curtis is hanging on with one foot. Precarious situation for both men. Gunn trying to get Curtis over, Curtis holding on. For dear life here. Look out. Oh, Gunn almost lost his footing. Oh, a headbutt there from Curtis. Gets him some much needed room. Look at Luke. He's dazed, he's staggering. Luke just trying to wheel himself on, trying to get some momentum. Might be looking for that diving headbutt. It coming, oh! Shades of the dynamite kid there. Luke Curtis literally dragging himself into the pin. He's New got champ. him, he's got him. Oh. 2.999. Just like Tony Gunn certified Luke Curtis is going to be wondering what is it going to take? What is it going to take to get the OVW heavyweight title from Tony Gunn? Well, we can't get any closer to a three count tonight than that without the championship changing hands. T Luke Curtis so incredibly close, but Tony Gunn just kicking out almost on instinct. These guys are leaving it all out here in the oh, ring tonight. What, what the hell is Luke Curtis doing here? He's taking, what? He's taking the turnbuckle pad off. I taught him how to do that. I, I, I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised, but taking that turnbuckle pad off, exposing that steel rung under there. Well, maybe he didn't like the turnbuckle. He's trying to clean up a little bit. The referee having some words with Luke Curtis allows Tony Gunn what to capitalize. What was Tony Gunn doing? Oh, goes for that exposed turnbuckle, but Tony well aware of it. Luke tries to turn around as well. Fighting out of that corner, both men didn't want to be anywhere near that exposed turnbuckle. 
Oh, big drop kick. Good Lord. A standing drop kick, one for the books. Beautiful maneuver. And hold on. Get that full Nelson. Goes for a slam. Gun rolls him through. Gun setting up that pump handle, Shannon. Oh! Can this be it? Pump handle slam from Gun. Gets in the leg. That's got to be it. Another two and three quarters count. So close there. Gun almost put Luke Curtis away with that pump handle slam, but holding on. Luke Curtis not letting his dream slip away just yet. Luke Curtis wants this more than anything in life, maybe right now, to be the OVW champion. So many greats throughout the years here in OVW have held that title. Luke Curtis wants to be the next one. Oh, Curtis. Oh, up and over, able to slide out. Full oh. Nelson slam, takes down gun, that's it. New champ right here. Oh. What? I don't believe it. I Unbelievable. I don't think there's a soul in this arena that can believe that Tony Gunn just kicked out of that full Nelson slam. Luke Curtis had him planted him deep. That was a three count if I ever saw one, and somehow Tony Gunn finding the wherewithal. And now you gotta wonder what is left in these two? What do they have left? Look out, that exposed turnbuckle. Again, avoid it. Gunn, look at that, caught him in the reverse CDT out of the... Hold on, that might be a Curtis down here. Another two count. At this point, we may be here all night, Kinnison. Well, I hope these folks didn't pay full price for the seats because they're only using the edge of them right now. Luke Curtis in serious trouble. Tony Gunn. Hey, Tony Gunn's got to keep the pressure on. He cannot give Luke Curtis an inch to breathe here. This didn't work out too well the last time. Tony Gunn went up to the top rope, but he's going again. Tony Gunn might be looking for that diving knee again. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Right, Tony? Oh, sidesteps, nobody home. And look, Luke Curtis goes immediately for a waist lock, just trying to slow Tony down. Oh, rolls through. Not able to get the full pin, though. Oh, beautiful German. Wow. Tony Gunn folded in half. Again, sort of bunch of... Oh! Two. Luke Curtis looking at these fans, wasting valuable time. He could have had the three count. Yeah, I think if Luke Curtis would have bridged that German, that might have been enough to put Tony Gunn away, but there might have been that apprehension, that fear from Luke Curtis after what happened with EC3 in those shoulders. You keep EC3's name out of your mouth. I, I Don't ever say that again. I didn't say anything bad. Don't even mention him. Don't even think about EC3. Tony, oh, Tony got fighting back out of this. Both these men have given so much, have went hell for leather in this main event for the OVW Heavyweight Championship as we head toward Luke. double cross on May 2nd. Oh, a little meeting of the minds. They're cracking their skulls together. Oh, and a double down, Shannon. This may be it. This may be it, right? We may just end this on a double count out. After the... Craniums colliding together, then this double down with the clothesline. You're absolutely right, Shane. This might be, both men might be down for the 10 count here. It doesn't get any bigger than this. The lights don't get any brighter than the OVW Heavyweight Championship match. Luke Curtis doing everything in his, in his power to try to win this title and achieve his dream. And Tony Gunn equally just just giving it to Luke Curtis. Both men up to one foot, it seems. Trying to fight back into this. Be oh, oh, God! This is going to be a battle of what do you have left in the tank. The reserves even have to be going empty at this point. Luke Curtis and Tony Gunn have been beating the hell out of each other. I'm exhausted just watching this match. Oh! Curtis somehow finding that extra gear. But Tony Gunn finding it, too. Close lines, back elbows, wherever these guys can land on the other one. You gotta think that at some point, Tony Gunn's gonna be looking for the kill shot, but not yet. Oh, look at that, Luke. Up and over, couldn't even land on his feet though. Oh. Angle slam, taken down Tony, middle of the ring. But can he make the cover? Oh, wait a minute, look how quickly Tony Gunn just got up. It's gotta be adrenaline, Shane. Our, our muscle memory taking Tony back to his feet. Oh, ducks under. 
Return to the favor of that German. Tony looking to do oh. more than one though. Uh oh. I think Tony got his color for it. This may be the beginning of the end right here for Luke Curtis. Tony Gunther, I think those two Germans softened up Curtis enough. Gonna go for the kill shot right here. Try to retain that heavyweight championship. It's about to unload. Oh, oh. No, nobody home. Oh, Curtis almost goes face first in that exposed charm buckle after sidestepping Tony Gunn. Oh, oh no. Curtis, face first in the exposed turnbuckle. Nobody home. Gun runs himself into that turnbuckle. Both men down again. Gun, you see that trying to get fe feeling back in his fingers. Wait oh, a minute. What, what the hell? What's this? Real one's out here. What's he doing? What does he have on his hand? Oh, oh. real one just dropped Gun. Was, was that a belt? He that was a belt. It wasn't the OBW heavyweight belt. It was a, oh. I want to keep his pants up. I think he's hit him with the buckle straight in the forehead and gun is down. And I don't know if Luke Curtis knows what the hell happened. Well, if Luke would turn around, he could. What the hell? Referee's still trying to get that turnbuckle pad back on after the damage is already done. Look what Luke just did. He just lowered the knee pad. Luke, Luke just did the certifier. We might have a new champ right here. We got, we we got, got a new champion. He did it. We got a new champion. Tony Gunn, and he got to give that asterisk assist to Real One, but Luke Curtis didn't see a damn thing. All he knows, he fought his heart out here tonight. Luke Curtis fought to the nail. He's your new OVW Heavyweight Champion. Well, you said he got an assist. Luke Curtis didn't see it. I'm not sure, so, sure that I saw it either, to be honest with you, Kenneth. And I think Certified did it all on his own. Oh, come on. Luke Curtis more than deserving to be a champion. Tony Gunn screwed by Real One tonight here, though, but folks, what does this mean for Double Cross Mooney to May 2nd? What does this mean for Tony Gunn and Enzo? Folks, I will tell you one thing though. We are now absolutely in the certified era of OVW.